one thing that's unique about this is that it happens so fast. I mean, 40 seconds, the race is over. It's like about 40 seconds of sheer terror. There's just something about the exhilaration of a BMX race. My name is Mark Auble. I'm 65 years old. I hadn't been riding my bike for a while. In fact, when I left BMX, I left it when I was like about 38, 39 years old. And so I stopped racing and didn't race again until I turned 61. And that's when I came out here. When I first came back to BMX here at Capital City BMX, it's just like, I knew I was gonna be riding my bike and probably racing again, but the thing I had forgotten about are the people. You know, I mean, the people are really the key to the whole thing. There was an energy here, you know, and it's just, and it's a type of energy that floats all boats. My name's Presley Johnson and I'm 12 years old. I started riding when I was six or seven years old. And I started because my older brother did it and my dad did it. So I was like, I wanted to ride a bike too and be like them. Most of the time, yeah, people do look at me differently, especially when I beat a male rider or whatever. They're like, oh, you just got beat by a girl. Well, that really doesn't matter. It just depends on how hard you're working to get better. Just because you got beat by a girl doesn't mean girls are weaker than you. People who run the track and help with the track it all comes out of their heart and it's volunteer ran. There's no getting paid or anything like that. They run it so we can have fun and race on it every weekend. Sometimes we've had a lack of volunteers too. I kind of knew that if it, I didn't help get a lot of it done, it wasn't gonna get done. I think in general, it's actually almost kind of made me become a different person. So do any of you guys that race already, do you watch the lights or do you listen to the beeps? Beep. Listen? Okay, so for the new guys, there's two ways the gate's gonna drop. You'll hear beeps, the gate will drop, or you can look at those lights and the gate will drop. All right, guys, here we go. Okay, riders, random start. Riders, ready, watch the gate. Good job, good job. Technically my first race I think is like late 90s, so 99, 98. Faster, a little faster this time, a little faster. Hard pedals, hard pedals, hard pedals. Always rode trails and dirt jumps and stuff with my buddies, but didn't actually get into racing until the late 90s. 2009 was actually the first time I came to Capital City. Chase him, chase him, chase him. All right, silly fun one. All right, good. Everybody have fun? Yeah, go right. You guys said you want to do more body squats? Is that what you said? No. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you. Hopefully, thank thank you. everybody have fun, right? Yeah. Learn, you learned something today? Yes. I've always been competitive at something. I need something like uh, physically and mentally, even if I'm just kind of competing with myself, something for me to do. The thing you do just before you get in the gate, you, you, you try to, to get yourself in that moment in time, you know, where you are now. And you always have a strategy, you know, to what you're gonna do depending on who's in the gate with you, depending on what gate you have, you know, what you're gonna do to try to get to that turn first. Okay, Ryder, random start. Riders, ready, watch the gate. When that gate falls, you can go now. Yeah. 
this is like flying, you know, it's just, this, is a, this, this is, must be what it feels like to fly. It's just a sanctuary from, you know, the rest of what life has to offer you.